Hey guys, welcome back to the channel guys. Today we will show you how to remove and replace rear bumper cover on Mazda CX-7. Stay with us, we're going to show you how to do that now. Please subscribe, let's go to the channel together and check out the playlist. We have over 50 videos on that car, you can see. That's the bumper cover that we will be using. It's in better shape than the one we have from a parts car. This one has a few, a few marks here and there and it's been painted in the past. Okay, it's nothing major. It was probably a, a small scratch, but we just want to use original factory bumper that we have out of the other one. Okay guys, uh, before we proceed with removing the bumper, you need to remove tail lights. We will show you how to do that. We already removed one. Uh, the driver side will be exactly the same as the passenger side. We want to show you because there is a couple clips here hidden so we don't damage your bumper. So let's go ahead and remove the tail light now. Okay, what you need to do right there, there is a lid that you're going to pull and there is only Okay, let me show you, there is only three, three nuts holding it. Get those loose and once you get them loose, they usually go by hand. Pretty easy. Okay, and next, uh, after you remove all these nuts, we'll need to either disconnect the bulbs or turn them counterclockwise, that way you can release them. Okay, we are almost done with the with the nuts, and as I said, driver side will be will be identical. One bulb is out, second one, third, and we have one little for parking lights. Okay, right there. You need to grab on this side a little bit first, and then you need to grab it really tight and pull. And if it's never been removed. It will take a while, okay, even two people, because this is the clip right here, guys, that's holding. Okay, it goes right here, and this tends to be really tight if the tail light never been removed. So we remove this one, uh, driver side will be identical, and now we can proceed with the bumper. Okay, next we'll need to go underneath. Okay, and you can see where the exhaust is with 8 millimeter socket, we need to remove a screw. Okay, it's almost out of there now. Sometimes they tend to rust really bad there. Next we need to remove those uh, clips right here. You need to remove the middle piece out and then you can pull the whole clip. Okay, like that. We're going to do uh, the same thing on this side as well. So we don't forget about those. Okay, right there. Okay, and just the clips that we removed, there is another one. Okay, right there. I cannot get the camera in. Okay, that's what it looks like. And those tend to break there sometimes, depending if there is mud stuck in them or no. Okay guys, then we need a, a 7 millimeter socket, okay, and there is one screw. Okay, let me show you exactly where it is, trying to block the light so you can see. You can see right behind the tire, so go ahead and remove this one all the way. There is not enough clearance to put the camera between the wheel, between the wheel and the fender. Okay, that's what it looks like. And after that, we need to release it from the clips right here. Okay, it came out and just one more on top right here holding, you can see the fender liner. Okay, and that whole piece of fender liner just came out. Right there now, okay, right here there is uh, another bolt that we need to remove with 8mm socket. So you can see the screwdriver how it is, so you have an idea where exactly it is and those tend to get stuck sometimes, being so little but rust and dirt will get there, water. Okay, almost coming out. Okay, 
Okay, that's what it looks like. Then we have the one bolt here with 8mm socket that we need to remove that holds the fender towards the cover panel here. Okay, right there. After that we need to go under the vehicle. Okay, and there is two more. Okay, towards the bag you can see right behind the exhaust. Okay. Right there, there is two more clips that we need to remove, one on this side and one right there. So we'll just go take care of those now. Okay, next, preferably you need two people now, because we'll start putting it on one side, it comes out of the clips. Careful not to break the mount. Okay, you can see you need to lift it up a little bit here, in order to pull it out. And it's still a little bit stuck, came out there. We're going to do the same procedure on the passenger side now. Lift up, get it out of the mount. Okay, next, right there, with a prying tool, we'll need to pry it a little bit because there is a few clips. We'll show you where they are once we remove it. And it's Okay, it's pretty tight. Okay, almost almost came out. Just careful not to damage it there. Okay, and now all we have to do, just pull it out guys, that's it. Those are the clips that we were talking about. You can see how big they are, and that's where they go. So the, the bumper is secured pretty good on that model, that's a good thing. So uh, we we'll have a video how to replace a bumper mount, also the impact bar. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and see you next time.